Wait, how does that work if you're about to travel through a black hole? That's kind of goofy. You send your fleets out on these missions, like, I trust you to go and handle it, and then you're like, bye, I'm jumping through a wormhole a, a million light years away, and you gotta catch up. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to No Man's Sky, episode 229, where we are pushing forward to explore the final planet in this system, over near the black hole, nope, that's the fungal planet, we've already explored that one, it would be this one, a planet with vast oceans, it is a contaminated planet, yellow radioactive seas, a smoky gray ground, high sentinel activity, but regular copper, so no extreme weather to speak of. I think we'll just make sure we stay clear of the black hole as we're not yet ready to leave this system. There it is over there by the space station. Notinia Alpha. I think we'll do the terrain first, actually. We'll, we'll do the terrain first and save the ocean for a second, I'm thinking. I don't really want to be on the night side of this planet when we land on it. So I'd like to come over here where the sunlight's a little more direct on the day side of the Terminator. There we go. Yes. This looks like a good area to make planetary atmospheric entry. Okay, we're getting a little bit of heat build up. Let's make our entrance here a little more gradual. Oh. It's sort of blue-green sky. Hold on, land immediately. What the heck did I see? What is that? Oh. Oh, that's a buried technology module floating out of the ground. I'm guessing they made some terrain adjustments, and yeah. Now they need to modify where all the uh, salvage technology is sitting. Starship Shield Module A. Well, that will be some some nanites. What a peculiar planet. So we've got these pink mists. These pink mists sort of sweeping over this beige landscape. I mean, it almost looks like what you would expect on a toxic planet if it wasn't for the, the, the trees being what they are. And the sky is just so blue. I am intrigued to learn more. I suppose we should start processing all of these uh, viscous fluids and such that we've found. Oh, there's a creature. Oh, you're like a baby version of the one on the other planet. Plant roots, poor hearing. Oh, they're not quite the same. There you go. Easily scared, eats pollen, goes underground to die. Interesting. It's an inedible rock made of pure ferrite. You don't say. I'm just astounded that a pure ferrite rock is inedible. Astounded, I tell you. Slow grazer with a superheated stomach.
Oh yeah, these plants. It says there's a damaged machine hiding in here somewhere. I don't believe it. All right, that's sort of your photo. Sort of. The pink mist is really interesting. Radioactive dust storms. Not too bad, though. We're going to harvest a lot of this gamma weed. And then I think also what we need to do is process these crystal fragments here. And then I dare say we're going to have to get back to our freighter and get our inventory sorted. It's getting a little out of control. Ooh, easy. But look at all this gamma root. We've got to harvest all this gamma weed. There's no point to pass it up. Okay, that's uh, probably pretty good. I'm not going to hunt down every little one, but I think we did. Let's scan a few more of these plants. Fungal Reclamation. Was this planet once a toxic planet? Oh, now hold on. If this cloud would move out of my way, we'd get three, three planets and the moons in the sky here? Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, and the black hole is visible. That's pretty neat. Let's go ahead. We'll give it one second before the next cloud rolls in. And... Let's see if we can back up a little bit, get a little bit more of the... No, because then we're looking up at the... Hold on. I think that's our shot right there. Or we just get barely the land in the bottom. How are we doing for this salvage data? Oh, it's practically full. In fact, we started grabbing more. Um, yeah, might sell that. Might sell that indeed. All right, and let's grab the viscous fluids. Yep, and process those. Oh, am I really going to try to say I'm done with the dihydrogen? We need so much of it. And we have loads of tritium. But the dihydrogen, not so much. Oh. More little tiny social creatures. Highly observant, eats vegetation, possesses language. That's a pretty significant milestone for creature species development. No, no, no. I don't know why they made the the analyze button the same as the tab change. It's madness, I tell you, madness. Let's get all of our plants back in the line. Food and slime and stuff over here. Look at all this gamma root, actually. This planet is like forested in gamma weed. 
practically. Look at that. And that and all of these large dihydrogen clusters as well. This is a bit of a neat planet. Okay. And the pink mists and the sunset. Hmm. I think we've already got our, our good images. Let's summon our fighter. I'm about ready to go see what the oceans have in store on this planet. All right. So we'll depart this continent, and we'll look for a good section of ocean that's in the daylight. Let's make sure we get far enough away so that we can accurately assess our entry position. Yeah, we're not far enough away yet. Engage the pulse engine! Alright, let's take a peek. Whoa, careful! Don't come out of pulse jump right in the middle of an asteroid field. All right, that looks like ocean over there that we can get to. Right here, please. Looks like it's going to be pretty close to sunset. But we should have enough usable daylight to at least see what's going on. Look at that little island chain right here. Let's give a scan. Oh, looks like it might be rather shallow here, actually. Hello, is that like a plaque or a monolith? Oh, it is. Hey, look at that. Multiple birds with one stone, please. This is how I'd like to order all of my ocean stops. Of course, there's a storm detected. Well, let's check out the Corvax plaque. The strange stone marker imparts the wisdom of the Corvax echoes to those who desire it. I do not know what dialect it speaks, Yet somehow I understand the story of those who once worshipped here. The great disconnection. The masks and shells of the Korvax survivors shook with the screams of the disconnected. Lights dimmed as the enemy descended, malevolent in its intent. Their numbers were too many. Korvax Prime was destroyed. My knowledge of the Korvax Convergence increases. The Korvax word for interesting, which is uh, one of my more favorite words. If you've been watching this channel a little bit, you might know that that's actually an understatement. Are you not going to tell me what building that is? Alright. Let's just go down in the ocean. Whoa. It is so goopy down here. This water is extremely radioactive. Rapid self-healing fish. Oh my. It sweats milk for, the jellyfish sweat milk for their infants. That's pretty interesting. Okay, well, we're getting close to the abandoned building, so I think at some point we'll be able to pop up and actually see what it is. Oh, look at this. Hold on. I saw something a little sketchy in the water. Did we jump into the water without realizing there are large predators in here? Because I'm starting to freak out a little bit now. I swear I saw a large, solitary fish of some kind, and now I just want to get out of the water. Although I read in the comments that uh, the aquatic predators don't really seem to attack people, but... I don't really feel like taking that chance. Whoa, look at that hauler. That looks cool. Although I think the, the verdict is in. With the new synthesis update, haulers are out. 
So are explorers, and exotics are the only way to go. Look at this. It's just a remote little... We're going to get this one. It's just a sad little outpost on an island in the middle of the... Ooh. Ooh, hold on. Sad, the saddest little island <laughs> in the middle of a radioactive sea. But a beautiful nightscape amidst a radioactive storm. All right, I'm done with this place. Let's get out of here. Go dock on our freighter and prepare to transit the black hole of this system. So a long time ago, I had said that we would not leave a system with unexplored planets anymore. And while I really want to keep that true, it saddens me to think of the realistic side of the fact that we might not be able to do that. If we want to get to Isentam with any realistic timeline, we might have to rapidly jump from system to system. Now, I would like to leave the Euclid galaxy, now more than ever since you can travel back and forth between galaxies. But at the same time, the thought of leaving a undiscovered planet or moon behind, that hurts my heart. That hurts my heart deeply because I've found so many hidden gems that I wouldn't have thought was a planet worth visiting until I stopped there and realized it was actually a really, really cool planet. It looks weird with that orientation. Maybe just like this. That being said, though, I fear if we are to make it to Isentam, we're going to have to reevaluate our policy. We might have to start trying to travel more and explore less. So we might. And I'm still debating it. I'm not saying one way or the other what I've decided. We might have to start just picking one or two planets or just the most interesting looking ones from a scan and making all our decisions from there. Maybe. Okay, unfortunately our freighter still has limited slots here. Which, I mean, it just, it, it breaks my heart so fierce. Um, but I think what we really need, like what we really, really need is... Oh, we can't even craft a technology item here. It has to be here. Because can I move it? No, you cannot. Oh. Burn. Burn. So it's like, unless they, unless they intentionally retrofit old freighters to have the extra technology slots, then, then you are, without a doubt, stuck, unable to do anything. As far as... You have to get rid of an old technology to put in the new one, because we would need at least four more slots to get all of this installed. The matter beam, though, is hot on my list. This is the one I want, and we need four more salvaged frigate modules before we can get it. it saddens me to no end. So let's go ahead and let's store all of our food. I'll we'll put this frigate module on the freighter, and then so we'll put this tetra. Cobalt. And the milk will go to storage. The hexaberry goes to storage. Chloride lattice, fireberry storage. Boom, 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 boom. The rest is pretty good. I don't really see a need. <laughs> okay. I do want to sell this six extra salvaged data. I don't see a reason to hold on to that. And then we'll have to sell these uh, modules at another time. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Sold. And then we're going to process this Tetra Cobalt in the ionized Cobalt. And then we'll go ahead and see what our frigate's got for us. There you have it. Easy ionized cobalt. And again, we have no stellar metals uh, because of the refiner glitch in your freighter. Arg. So let's start assessing the best path moving forward, right? Because here's my thought process. Is that what we need to do, since our storage, our storage containers are so much larger than they used to be, is uh, I think we need to get rid of this hauler, actually. I don't think it's going to do us any favors. Because really what I want, what I truly, truly want, is more exotics. In fact, I want all exotics. All exotics. So we're going to go ahead and move... Um, we're going to move all of this stuff to the freighter for now. Because then we're going to move it to storage containers. And then we're going to sell this ship. Look at all this deliciousness. We're even going to hold on to all this launch fuel. See, there's no reason to get rid of any of this. And a lot of this is easy money. Uh, it takes a lot of money to upgrade your exotics, as I understand it. And we're sitting on a lot of money, especially if we go back to our old bases and harvest all of our plants and our gases. Although we don't really have the, the super large sections of gases yet. Okay, and I guess we cannot access our storage containers from down here on the hangar deck. Oh, are we going to replace the Katsadam's coup? Oh my, I feel like we should. As much as we put so much into it. Shield strength, maneuverability, hyperdrive range, damage potential. So if we just check, and I know they're boosted with all of these modules here, but if we just eyeball, we just eyeball the meters there, and then we check even our lowest exotic. I mean, gosh, that is so much better. Uh, I mean, you know, the hyperdrive, but that is our lowest exotic. Yeah, there's no reason oh, to have any of these except, you know, maybe the fighter. Is it worth holding on to a heavy fighter? Oh, yeah, because that damage potential. That's up there. Although an exotic can have pretty high damage potential, I don't know if my lowest exotic can compete with that. No, definitely not. Okay, so again, we're we're talking about potentially selling our hauler and our explorer. Wow. And there's so many mods, so many technology modules on that Explorer. But that'll give us room for A, collecting new exotics, which, yes, please. And B, we'll be able to salvage wrecked ships and sell them for a profit, which, oh, yes, please, to that as well. Well, if I would have done it from up here, I could have just shoved everything into storage from up here. Oops. Oh, well. What's done is done is done.
All right, and then we move all of this to storage. And you will be sold. And then all of this will also go to storage. You will be sold. Launch fuel, uh, we're gonna hold on to that. You never know when you need that. <laughs> so we still need some chromatic metals. Not chromatic metal itself, but the metals that break into chromatic metal. Low on the gases, at least radon and sulfurine. And then we need more plants, especially the selenium. A little bit of gold. Not really hurting for much else. A little bit of salt. We stocked up our carbon a good bit. Oh, we're a little low on ammonia. All in all, though, I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased with how far we've come and how well everything is doing, and I'm super pleased with all of the updates that have continued to trickle out. Let's... Oh, wait. Nope. Stand by. Stand by. Hold on. Hold on. Yep. Gotta empty that freighter a little bit here. No, we're leaving the carbon crystal. And what we're going to do is... Actually, we don't need this much fuel. We don't need these warp hypercores, and we don't need this frigate module. We can just hold on to this stuff here in storage. Right? Then we have to go digging for it when we need it. Well... But we need this space. We need all this space opened up. Like these extras. Do we need these extras? I don't think we do. It's just making things more difficult on our freighter, right? We might leave these because these are needed for upgrades. Aren't they? Hmm. Well, we don't have the frigate modules. Uh, so we'll leave the ones that aren't that aren't stacks of five, so we know to fill those in. Okay. All right. I'm good with those. I accept those terms now. We might as well make use of all that storage space. Let's debrief our commander. We get album and pearl. This looks like a unique discovery. Units, magna gold. Corvax casing, superconductor, nip nip buds, units, album and pearl. Ugh, a lot of goofiness. Lemon, lemon, um, sack venom. Ooh, crate of splendid curios, 869 years old. What caused this artifact's owner to bury it underground? Did they hope to return to claim it one day? Such questions may now never be answered. Hmm. I didn't know he sent our frigates on grave robbing expeditions. All right, debrief the commander, please. Relatist arc crystal, Viking effigies, units, activated cadmium. Oh, I would settle for some regular cadmium. Semiconductor and Herox. The crate of gleaming statuettes, 789 years old, crawling with insects and haunted by a musty aroma. This treasure is nonetheless an artifact of great worth. Okay, let's send the construction items to storage container inventory. Magno gold. I Okay, we'll see. We'll, we'll keep it. Sure. That's chromatic metal waiting to happen. We'll hold on to that. Nip nip buds. We're going to hold on to those. Just for fun. Just for fun. And the rest can be sold. So to sell, we're going to sell a couple of our, yeah, Splendid Curios, Gleaming Statuettes.
And then let's switch over to yes, Corvanx casings. I do not need Gek relics, album and pearls, sack venoms. I mean, it's all free money. Ooh, that actually adds up. That's a good bit of money, actually. Yeah, almost a million. It is better than what they say is a sharp stick in the eye. Hopefully we're getting some nice, very nice S-Class frigates out of all this as well. Units, activated copper, boo, iridescite, Viking effigy, Herox. That Herox is pretty important. I think we, I think all of these are shorter expeditions. We can just do them. Oh, a salvaged frigate module. Okay, let's look at this one. This was an industrial mission of three stars, and it got us a salvaged frigate module. Whoa, superoxide crystal times twenty. Wow. Oh, that's intense. Gravitino ball, granting. Yeah, little stuff. I wish they had more expeditions to pick from. I feel like I'm being slightly robbed. All right, well, we'll put the runaway mold in here, and we'll stock up on this inverter, and we'll just get ourselves another 100 nanites. Might as well. And then let's sell everything that's uninteresting from the freighter. Uh, do I really want to hold on to all this granting and stuff? That seems excessive. I don't care about the activated copper. Uh, the super oxide crystal, I... No, we need the oxygen. Hold on, we don't, we don't, we're not maxed out on oxygen, actually, so. Gravitino ball. So these only turn into eight nanites apiece. Yeah, that's not. I think I'll just sell them for the money. Like, it's not a tremendous amount of money, but it's not a tremendous amount of nanites. And you can't sell them all at once, which might actually make it worth the time. But I feel like, in my humble opinion, it's not even beneficial to break them down at the Nexus because of how long it takes. All right, these can all be broken down, right? And then this will go into storage. So will all these and all those and those. Now, if I say I want to craft... Yeah, see, it doesn't pull from the storage. Hmm. Yeah, that's too bad. We will go ahead and take 1,200 chromatic metal, though. Oh, I can't refine straight from the freighter. Oh, okay. Then I want those crystals back. Yes, the superoxide crystals. Because we're going to get lots and lots of oxygen. Beautiful, 2400. That's good stuff. Oh, that chromatic metal takes a little bit. Okay, let's send out some frigates. Some frigate expedition, if you will. Wait, how does that work if you're about to travel through a black hole? That's kind of goofy. You send your fleets out on these missions, like, I trust you to go and handle it, and then you're like, bye, I'm jumping through a wormhole a, a million light years away, and you gotta catch up. That seems thematically broken. Hmm. Maybe they just travel through the wormhole themselves when they return. They see that everybody's gone and they go, oh, they must have gone through the black hole. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. I think we can we can backwards rationalize that. 
Exciting new expeditions, you say? Ugh, how do you get higher rated ones? Like, I wish you could re-roll some of these. Look at this, one star at 4,000 light years balanced. What sort of nonsense is that? It's one star, but it's really long. I guess that's good to send out the lower end guys here. Industrial exploration, combat, support, and trade. Have a... W Look at that. That's like our weakest guys. We got four star rating. 800 tons of fuel. Have a wonderful day. Let's see what's next. Um, next longest is a two star industrial. Industrial... Combat, industrial, industrial, support, another four star. Peace out. Remember to take the black hole when you come back. Another industrial, this one, this one a little higher up on the stars. So we'll send some good combat, good support, and then actually let's send a low level trade just for fun oh sure you guys got that Pew. two star combat patrol combat combat support exploration and trade I mean we're starting to treat them like balanced missions now as long as they get experience a one-star exploration. I know that your S-Class can continue to level up, but I kind of want to get everybody to S-Class first. I really wish you could design expeditions. Like, you could pick and choose what difficulty, what kind. Maybe that would be a little too broken. I don't think it would be that bad. Maybe you'd have to rebalance what you get on each one, what they yield. And now we have all this extra oxygen. Yeah, we'll hold on to it for now. So if we take the hauler through the black hole, we might end up in a fight. Whereas, have we put some upgrades on the squid? Well, we have a phase beam, a rocket launcher, a photon cannon. But no, really, we haven't put any upgrades on here. All right, let's see if we've put upgrades on the defeat of the moon. Which, by the way, if you're... Oh, yeah. So... All of this can go on the freighter. If you're paying attention, or I'm sorry, if you're not, the uh, the Defeat of the Moon is probably my least favorite exotic. And that's not because of the shape. I think the shape is really cool. It's because of the color. I'm just not a fan of that pale yellow, or that bright yellow. It's like dandelion yellow. And it's not like the worst thing in the world. Like I'm not gonna get rid of it anytime soon, but if I did have to get rid of an exotic, this would be the one. Stats be darned, you know. Stats be darned. Boy, when it comes time to actually pick a favorite and upgrade it, we are going to have so much potential money sitting in our storage containers. Like, lots. Also, with no upgrades... I guess that means it's the end of sleep. Is officially, yeah, with the shield. Oh, I could have put one of the shield things here. Kalsa shroom, that's what they look like. Probably should put those on the freighter's storage. Hold on. I'm like, what are we doing? We have so much storage on board our freighter now. Because we have all of our storage boxes in an array. 
And we can increase the inventory of everything even more so. Yeah, between the shield upgrade and the phase beam and the phase beam upgrade, I think the end of sleep is our best option for going through a black hole for the time being, which is fair because while it is the most minimalistic of the exotic ships, the color scheme really appeals to me because I like shiny metallic colors and it has the gold. I would prefer silver, but gold is good. This odd sort of gray cerulean mixture it's almost iridescent in some areas well not iridescent but it's got like these violet highlights i like this um and i like the minimalistic sphere design i like that i have all of this visual stuff in my peripherals so all said and done this is a really nice exotic the squid ship we're gonna keep just because it's a squid ship and it has nice colors but we are totally going to sell that hauler to first chance we get and make room for a next exotic because I do not want to see the perfect looking exotic stop by and me not be able to get it because of a darn hauler. Now, I'm very helpful or appreciative of the hauler, as helpful as it was when we got it, and I'm very thankful for the community coordinates that I received that helped me find it. However, the days of haulers have run their course, and I no longer see value in them. Now, I'm concerned that Hello Games will correct this at some point, but only time will tell. Hold on. Can we leave the black hole? Whew. We have to pay attention here. We have to pay much better attention to what we're doing. I know anomaly detected. We're in the system with a black hole. Don't you dare try to redirect me to another. S oh, you did. You said no. Go to that black hole. You hush your mouth. So we're currently six hundred and <laughs> you hush your mouth when you're talking to me. We're currently six hundred and fifty-five thousand light years from the center. That's what I wanted to check. Six fifty-five. And let's see how much closer we get. A hop, skip, and a jump. Four planets, one moon, mathematical system with low supply, destructive conflict levels. Only 55,000 light years. Um, okay, so 55,000 light years, but not in a straight line. So that actually wasn't that far of a jump, but it did bring us 14,000 light years closer to the center, which, wow, that's actually fairly good. Let's, let's get a picture of that. Right? And we're going to swing over to the space station just as soon as we summon our freighter so that we can swap out for a different ship. Hostile scan de detected. That's because of the destructive conflict level bit. Oh, they're not going to catch me. Not this time. That's actually where we're going to wrap up this episode, and we will sell our hauler and... Check out how we're going to progress in this system towards the next black hole in the next episode. But until then, take care.